Are you ready for Frostpunk? Let's, uh, let's turn off the comfy music and then we're gonna build our utopia. Oh, and in case you don't know about this game yet... <coughs> no dictator today. Today we're all about science and UBI. Andrew Yang style. UBI, UBI. The seedling ox. We've been chosen to safeguard a priceless treasure. The seeds and seedling of plants from all over the world. They've been deposited in seedling arcs to stop them from freezing, but it falls to us to build a city to protect these precious buildings until the winter ends. Let's get to work. We've reached the generator site and the seedlings are safely stored in the seedling arcs. We were supposed to deploy automatons to make sure the city can run itself no matter the weather, but the transport carrying the factory plants was lost in a blizzard. You need to build a beacon and send a team to search for it. This is our automaton, the White Bostoner. And these are the seedling arcs. We must protect them. This is our generator. It'll keep us warm. And these are our people, scientists. Now we shall begin. First, we must assemble all of these things. Coal for the generator, wood for our housing. So we shall put our engineers to work for now. Don't worry, everyone. Manual labor will not last. We will build a glorious utopia where no one has to work. First of all, we need housing because as you see, all 45 of our people are homeless and uh, we need to keep the seedling arcs safe. And for that, we need housing for our engineers and we need a research station, a workshop here. So we'll start out with building tents around the generator. We want everyone warm and safe. Two workshops, a medical bay, and we also want a cookhouse right here. Mary can easily outsmart smart everyone is in among us. Um, actually, they destroyed me last time. Gotta be Mary. Yeah, gotta be Mary. No. I, I, just gonna, I was I in there uh, for like a on. second and then I walked out. It's not me. But the thing is, um, not to do it, not to and not to dead. And Oh, okay. I Fine, have to screw read. you guys. <laughs> but next time I'll do better. Free time has come. Now we are building our city. Our glorious city of science is being built. Where no one will have to lift a finger and the automatons will work for us. First we have to set up the infrastructure. Are you ready, Chad? Are you ready to turn on our generator? Turning it on now. So we will be researching the heating first because we need to keep our seedling arcs safe. If they fall too low, we can expect uh, issues. Ah, Swanbots redeemed wiggly ears. Okay, I'll wiggle my ears. Are you ready? Are you ready? So currently we have our automaton and our coal deposit so that he can work on our coal. But we might need more engineers or some workers. Preferably more automatons. Actually, I've changed my mind. We probably need the beacon first. Here we go. The beacon. The beacon allows us to go adventure into the frozen wasteland. We should be able to find some uh, more steam cores. We also need to upgrade our housing. We can't have the glorious scientific utopia scientists living in these little tents. And we have enough steel now for a beacon. So we will set up the beacon. Right. Here. If people disobey you, do you get uh, thrown in the furnace? Yes. No dictator today. Today we're all about science. Storm on the horizon. Captain with the beacon operation. We can clearly see the storm approaching from the south. It's still some distance away, but we'd better keep an eye on it and make sure we set up the infrastructure needed to heat the arcs before it hits. So this is the storm. These are seeds. The seeds of all plant life on, on the planet and we will make sure to keep them safe. Ah, it's getting colder. Minus 30 degrees. It's okay, we can make it, guys. We can make it for science. Ah, our scouts have arrived. We spent hours hacking at the ice to free our surprise, but we did it. 31 steel and one steam core. This is not good. We need to make sure that the seedling arc survives. So the next thing we're going to be invested in is heating. Yes. Only the top of the automaton is sticking out on the snow. Digging it out will take some effort, but should be worth it. Fantastic. Got an automaton. It's coming to the city. New automaton. We rappel down into the crevice, listening to the ominous sounds of the ice cracking under the weight of the steel behemoth. The weather is getting worse by the minute, and we need automatons to secure the city and the seedling arcs before the storm hits. Found the factory uh, plants. That's good. We can build a factory and make more automatons. And that means, that means UBI time. Woof. Cold is coming shortly, and we will need to heat our seedling arcs. So we're going to do that now but heating on all of them. Any who disobeys Mary becomes fuel for the furnace. Well, uh, no one's gonna disobey me because 
Um, we are not a dictator here. We are scientists. Ah, it's getting even colder. Minus 40 degrees. Very cold. Ah, we received our new automaton. Congratulations, everyone. Need more automatons. I do enjoy automatons. Look at it go. Look at it go. It's picking up supplies. Should probably put it on the steel instead, though, because we kind of we need more steel than wood. Ah, and we finally have factory time factory time factory time factory time yes now we're building a factory and the factory can supply more units autonomous city the automatons are performing admirably now we have to make sure enough of them to automate all critical operations in the city before the storm hits it's the only way to ensure that the seedling arch will be supported during the storm another automaton is ready so an engineer is asking for a day off to study an automaton closely sure carry on with the project that is completely fine and now we can build a coal mine it's coal mine time coal mine time okay where's our coal mine, coal mine gonna be here and a second one, just for good measure. Building coal mines. 15 homeless. Oh, that's because we're building more tents. Oh, right. Yeah, we are renovating some housing. That's all. Look, guys, if we go into photo mode, we can look even better. Look. <gasps> look at how comfy it is. Very comfy. Very, very comfy. <sighs> Everything looks so warm. Yes. Um, but it, it might freeze soon because the temperature is not going to stay this pleasant and it's already quite cold. It's minus 30 degrees and it's going to drop. Minus 30, 40 degrees, minus 40 degrees. But don't worry, everyone. So this is our heat map so we can see everyone in the house is all comfortable and nice. For some reason, our cookhouse is not so nice. Uh, we should probably do something about that. Yes, the arcs aren't doing so well need to build some steel some some steam hops yes and our steam hops are ready so we ready and that means we can start getting trees of course none of our scientists will do any man manual labor we'll get the automatons to do it ubi style ah steam core needed so the engineer working on the automaton project sent his report he broke the automaton he borrowed you idiot why would you do that now he wants a steam core the damage hasn't been for nothing we can fix the broken machine and on top of that we can now adjust the automatons to make them work faster fine Sure, we'll give you steam cores. Don't break it again. Hello, Noble. You were an electrical. <laughs> Noble, we're building a, a steampunk utopia. Look, look, you can come live here. Let me show you. So this is where I live. This is where I live. In, in at the top of this place, right next to the generator, so I get plenty of heat. And and you can live here if you want to. You can be my neighbor and we can play games together while all of the automatons do all the work for us. Um, this time, last time, I was a dictator. We survived another night. That has to count for something. Of course, we are all going to survive if you follow me. And don't question me. If you question me, you're bad. We don't need bad people in our city now, do we? Uh, this time, we're going to be uh, men of science. And we'll have these automatons do all the work for us. Yes. Ah, so the automaton project is complete. Automatons can now be produced at a lower cost and used in medical facilities. That's fantastic. Um... I'm not sure about letting one of these things operate on me, but we shall let it try. Maybe on some of the uh, less good scientists, yes. Ah. Our guy has found something. An isolated shelter. This shelter is well built and looks intact. We might be able to find some resources inside. Raw food and steam core. <gasps> Free steam cores? Steam cores is the most valuable thing. Yes, fantastic. We'll take the resources and bring them back to our city. We need the steam cores. Steam cores are important. Speaking of that, we need another automaton. So oblig obligatory question. Are we ever going to get see the maid costume rig? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. I might get a 3D model in January. Might be an option then. So an engineer is here to see you. He has a letter for, uh, to you from his team. My workers asked me to deliver this. They're plain people, so it reads like a bad poetry. But here's the gist of it. They want to thank you, sir. The sight of this automaton working tirelessly to in the inhuman cold where previously they toiled and suffered is something worth living for. Of course it's worth living for. We're building the perfect city. Don't worry, I got all. I got everyone. I got everyone. Yes. Whoa. We need to research new things. What should we get next? Improved heating might be important with some hothouse insulation just in case. Can't have this place getting cold. And we want no sick people in our city. No sick people. Execute the sick. 
that that would be in a, in another gameplay. Th this run we're actually being quite humanitarian. We're building automatons to service humanity. As you see, they're working for humans. But maybe next run we can do we can do quite a uh, quite an extreme run. Yes, new automaton. What's this one called? Saint Yorkshire. Put it on the other Kermite. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Seedling arcs in danger. Oh no. Okay. So, um, this is not good. Okay. So we'll build steam huts. One here. One here. One here. And give it a moment. And one Get to work. here. Move. And that should hopefully save them. But that is also going to mean that we are going to be running out of coal in two days. This is not good. Um, it is a remarkably cold thing uh, and we don't want our seats to die because then we lose the game so we're gonna hope this uh, that the steam hubs work yes oh no it's not it's not enough it's not enough ah, ah. okay 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 what how much more do we need you don't need that many steam hubs I, I do because they need this they need the seedlings we need seedlings don't worry I know what I'm doing okay we, we put the generator into overdrive that should help for now but it's gonna blow up if it's in overdrive for too long Okay, it's heating up. So that should save us for now. We don't need the generator and overdrive. Oh, serious accident. Oh no! So there's been an accident. An automaton has stepped on a man, crushing his legs and crippling him for life. People argue that the automatons should walk more slowly and carefully, even at the cost of their efficiency. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Slow down the automatons? Of course not. We can't afford it. We'll build him a new leg. Watch me build him a new leg. We'll science his leg. We'll replace his leg with a science leg. That's way better. It's way better than his other leg. Ah. What's this? New Manchester. A cry for help. Sir, an exhausted man has just reached our city, badly frostbitten and with a harrowing story to tell. He says he's come from a nearby city called New Manchester. It's inhabited mostly by workers and their families, but their resources are running out and they're in trouble. Saving the messenger. Captain, the man who arrived from New Manchester is in critical condition. If he doesn't get help right away, he'll die. It could be our only chance to learn more about the city. Well, it's lucky we don't have any sick people in our city. So a group of survivors has reached our city. They are tired, they'll need a place to rest, a bite to eat and perhaps some medical attention. But they are ready to lend a hand however they can. Okay, so we're getting a working class. They can join. For now, if they pull their work. So some of our people are restless. They argue that with the new storm coming in, closing in, we won't be able to succeed in our mission and help New Manchester at the same time. So there's another city and they need help. But we're building a scientific utopia to protect the seeds. So what do we do? Science or charity? What do you say, chat? What do you say? Science or charity? Or both? Okay, so here, here's what I think. Here's what I think. Both. We save the people of New Manchester and we are science. And we will include them in our UBI program. Free money for everyone. Yes. Yang gang, yang gang. Okay, okay, we can do that. We can't abandon people in need. We will do both. Also, we're building a public house. Ah, okay, we need a steam coal mine because we're actually running out of coal, which is not very good. Uh, so, yes. Okay, public house is done. Look, comfy public house. Now people can relax and enjoy a good drink. And also, uh, we built it with a view of the frozen wasteland. It'll remind them that our city is the greatest, greatest utopia ever. Because they're not cold, and that's good. Ah, oh, moonshine. Who wants a drink? Do you want drinks? Or do you want a house of pleasure? No, we're getting drinks. We're getting drinks. No house of pleasure. No, no. no. The messenger lives. Captain, we've saved the life of the messenger from New Manchester. He's thankful even though we had to amputate his arm. Oh no. We'll have to build him a new arm with science. Turn this one back on so we have our public house being heated. Look, look. Watch the snow go down. Ah, very comfortable. Comfy doggo science is the greatest science. That's right, Prussian fanboy. That's correct. Everyone might want to live in my city, but consider the temperature, please. Just because the generator's running doesn't mean it isn't bitterly cold all the time. No, that's evil new Manchester propaganda. The city's great. We have our generator and it's very, very cold, warm and welcome. I'll prove it to you. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, it's a little chilly right now, but don't worry, we'll fix it. Storm is coming, but it's still a little bit away, so we can still manage it. Frost is here. Minus 60 degrees. Okay, no one leave the, the generator circle. No one leave. It's good we have automatons. Otherwise, it would be quite cold. And in today's merry weather forecast, a massive storm is coming. And if we were less scientific city, we'd all die. Praise be science. Yes, 
Praise be science. Another automaton is ready. Yes. Okay. Okay. It's coming out. Okay. Uh, we'll put it on. We will put it on industrial hothouse. Okay. City's autonomous. Yes. We did it. We did it. Uh, prepare for the storm. Build five houses. Remaining five. Okay. Um, yeah. Yama, you can live in my city as well. You can be part of the upper class. And so can Bunny if she's here. I'll build Yama's house right now. I'll build Yama's house. So I'm gonna give you a good spot. I'll give you... Not next to the factory. That makes all the noise. I'll give you a spot right here. Almost next to the public house. This is Yama's house. I get to be 1%. Yes, I feel fancy. You should feel fancy, Yama. Note to my editor. Give Yama a top hat and a monocle and a mustache. Gather 8,000 coal. That's a lot of coal. You should probably get another automaton if we want that much coal. Ah, Yama's house is done. Look. Okay, we'll get a good, we'll get a good proper look at it. This is Yama's house. There, there it is. Right here. Very nice. Thank you for building me real estate in this fierce economy, good sir, Mary. Well, of course, lady, lady, lady Yama. Of course. I'm the good dog and I build real estate for my friends. Yes. Ah, it's getting warmer. That's good. Warmth is always nice. We found New Manchester. Okay, this is the city. This is the city filled with working class people. A dying city. A dimly glowing generator stands in the middle of a shanty town. They look sick, underfed, and most of them don't have proper, proper roof over their heads. Nothing can save them from the storm. Except us. We'll help them. We'll show them what science can do. Aid for New Manchester. We've found New Manchester, but its people are lacking almost everything needed to survive. We can try to help them, but only automatons will be able to carry supplies across the windswept wasteland to them. We can do it. We'll build another automaton right now. Mary is taking over the city. Yes, we are going to rule them by giving them so much science that they cannot say no to us. We're going to upgrade our city now. We need more supply depot. Ah. Uh... Ah, Manchester Dreadnought. We got some steam cores. Now we'll run back home immediately. Opai, shout out Opapan. Yes, yes, shout out to her. Go follow her. She's very nice. Now we have lots of new houses. Um, yes. You know what, Opai? Uh, I'll build your house. Look, this is this is going to be your house. I'm going to build it right here, right here. There you are. You live in this one. You're part of the upper aristocratic class. That's why your house is so tall compared to the others. And uh, note to editor: give Opai a uh, a top hat, a monocle, and a mustache. You get a house? Yes, of course you get a house. You get a house? Yes, of course you get a house. Here it is, right here. That's your house. And Chica lives here. And we'll build one for Bunny as well. She's not here right now, but we'll build one for her. Uh, this is Bunny's house, right here. This is Bunny's house. Note to editor, give Bunny a top hat, mustache. Two number nines, a number nine large, a number six with extra dip, a number seven, Two number 45s, one with cheese, and a monocle. Okay, and you know what guys? Just in case, if Melody ever wants to join our city, she can have a house here. Since we're running a science city, I think Melody should be allowed to join us. Well. This is Melody's house. And uh, note to editor, give Melody a top hat, a monocle and a mustache. Oh, Noble. I almost forgot Noble. I've already built all the houses. But you know what? I'll kick out some working class people that came. And this is going to be Noble's house now. Right here. This is Noble's house. Note to editor.
And for the people who we threw out of that house to give room for Noble, we're going to build a tent right here. This is uh, the immigrants that we kicked out. They can stay here and now Noble can live in their house right here. Yes. We had some working class immigrants from New Manchester. So, yes. And you know what? We're going to we're going to make a house for Lumi as well. Of course, can't forget her. Here we go. Right there. Lumi's going to get a house here. There it is. No, to edit it. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, storm is coming. Gotta hurry back to our city. We are almost at the 8,000 coal required and we need to disband all expeditions. Storm comes in one day and 24 hours. Okay, do you guys think we can survive the storm? We shall survive with the power of science. That's correct. Ah, uh, it's getting colder, 70 degrees. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Seedling axe freezing again. Okay, upgrade the steam level. Okay, we need to disband our expedition. Okay, disband, okay. Our city is ready for the storm. Now all we can do is wait and hope we have done enough to survive. The poor bastards in New Manchester though. No! We have to let them. We have to send things to them. Okay, gather 600 steel, 600 wood, one automaton and send the relief expedition. Don't worry. Don't worry. We'll, get, we'll help them. We'll help them. Yes. We'll help them. We need 600 steel, 600 wood and one automaton to send to them for the relief expedition. Yes. So we can help them. But we are slightly running out of time. 10 hours. Uh, left. Oh, no. No, we didn't manage it. Uh, damn it. Supplies ready. We've gathered enough survive, supplies to survive the storm. Everything else has been taken care of. Oh, we didn't, we didn't help them. We did our best. We can only pray now. This will have to be our legacy. I hope we did enough. We did our best. We were chosen. Stewards of the future. But winter forced us to choose. We found another city, helpless in the cold. But we didn't care. I cared, I was trying, you know. Our mission was more important. No, it wasn't. I was trying, I almost had it. We saved all the arts. New Manchester. Perished. We did not take the risk of saving the others. I tried! I tried! Why won't you listen to me? It will have to be our legacy. But at least our city worked. We did manage a fully autonomous city. Ah, uh, would you guys like to see my dictator outfit? I'm gonna get it shortly. Ah, uh, this is something um, my friend Carrie drew. Look. It's me as the dictator in our last gameplay when I was uh, a ruthless dictator of uh, our other steampunk city. I think it's quite nicely drawn. Um, yes. Let me uh, show you my, my, fully, uh, my full dictator outfit design. Here it is. This is me as a dictator. Uh, yes. So it's got the Knight Cross of Denmark and, um, and a doggo icon, a dog icon. And uh, yes, and I'm gonna get it as a costume for my live 2D avatar very shortly. And uh, yes, and then we can be fully, full dictator mode. And we will build a glorious city. With many propaganda centers and military prisons.